Hey, what is what's up? We are we're, we're live. Well, hey, what's up, y'all? How is everyone? Okay, doing that was today? my fault. Talk about hey, what's up? I just went live. I was just telling you that Ray's a narcissist. You know that? Did you know that? But uh, what is up? How there? This is April. April, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, you I can kind of hear you. Maybe I'll just take out my earbuds. Can you tell? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Can you, dang it! What's up? How you doing? This is April. She's a she. She's in patrol quest. Should have, should have wrote something down. Sorry. But what is up, guys? How is everybody doing? Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Hey. Hey. I'm just. So, what's going on, everybody? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? If you, you can hear me. A little me. bit about myself. Um, I am from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. I live in fabulous Las Vegas. I was um, engaged a number of years ago to a man who made me choose between him and my puppets. And I chose my puppets and I became a professional ventriloquist. I live in fabulous Las Vegas. I yeah. love my puppets. I love long walks on the beach. And I am just desperately seeking Mr. Mm -hmm. Okay. And folks, check out my book on ventriloquism. Don't read my lips. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, I'm, I I was a big fan of Jeff Dunham. You know who Jeff Dunham is? I was a big of fan of him. Of course I know. And Jeff Jack Dunham. But, yes, uh, and Terry Fader, big fans too, yes. Yeah, um, I also want to say, you have a Joe Biden puppet? Yes, you I, I do. Joe you Biden's can meet puppet? him in a little bit, yes. Yeah. Oh, someone's, someone's sending me photos. Sorry. Sorry, the, um, I got so much doing, so much going on. What is up? How's everybody doing? I actually saw, I actually saw you did a little mirror stream. I saw you did. Yes, I mirror. did, and yes, and they say hello. I, hey, hey! I, by the way, I was on their show. The first uh, first show they ever did was I was the guest. So, who who knew that they? Yes, they they, they do some great shows. Yes, they, yes, they, I'm happy. Oh, sorry, Jake. I'm having a hard time hearing you. I might. Guys, I'm going to be back with a puppet, but I'm going to try to see if that makes a difference. Okay, can I do, All right. do that, Jake? All right, go go ahead. Jake, you stay on the air, folks. I will. I shall be right back. All right. By the way, we got a membership. All right. But what is up, guys? How is everybody doing? So it's great. <laughs> yeah. But what is up? Um. What is up? How are you here? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you much better. You know, my earbuds are. Evil. Yeah. Hey, um, I just want to say that um I you know I see ventriloquists, you know, a lot of people are, are I see a lot of people I was watching when Terry was on uh, American Got Talent. Oh yeah, you know that? Oh he did um he did a great job on there and um his journey yeah. to fame was something else because you know, yeah. right before he booked that, he was performing at a fair. And um, only one kid stopped to see him, and he thought about his quitting ventriloquism forever. Yeah. 
you know, I, I, you know, ventriloquism is a lost art now because, you know, you, but now you see people, what's Darcy Lynn? If you know who Darcy Lynn is, right? Oh, of course I know Darcy Lynn. Uh, She's um, a very nice young lady, sorry. actually. I'm a, I'm a huge Darcy fan. And um, what I just, you know, seeing her on America's Got Talent really just made my life. I, I was glad to see another um, female ventriloquist. Yeah. Yeah, also you see uh, Paul Zardin, I think his name is. He was on there too, Paul Zardin. And actually a funny story about Paul yeah. Zardin. Uh, we were on a website when I was 17 years old together. It was a ventriloquist website. And I wrote a, and I reached out to him and I sent him a fan letter and he wrote me back. That's, that's awesome. And he follows you know, me sometimes um, on Instagram. He likes my sexy pictures. <laughs> yeah. By the way, she's also you're also on Playboy. Yes, um, I am a creator. I, I saw... Um, you see uh -oh. me live and in color. Go on the Playboy uh, app. You can see the good stuff. Yeah. You know, I also want to also want to say this. It's like I see people who. And, you know, a lot of a lot of times you see these people, you know, do you know there's a Ray the Puppet now? You know, there's, they have people, they have Ray, Ray, Ray DeVito has a puppet. You know, I'm glad I have Ray a has a puppet. People, if anybody deserves a puppet, it is Ray. And if you're watching Ray, hi, yeah. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Um, by the way, shout out. You know, we, we talked about, you know, everything I'm saying Ray, Ray's a narcissist. Ray, he he's just doing it. He he used Ari to get to to go on podcast when they were podcasting. They she had him, um, Ray had Ari come on so many times. Well, Ray Ari's doing good, and I'm just trying to stay out of the way. You know what? And I want to stay out of the way of that, too. My experiences with Ray have been good. I've met Ari online. She seems very yeah. nice. And I just want everybody to be friends. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah. You know, it, it's, you know, now it's like so many people, you know, there's so many fight in, in, the, in, the, in, our, in the universe that why are we, we need to bring, we need to bring the funny. You know, the reason I asked you to come on and I didn't even know you were going on Little Mirror show when I asked you because I saw you on uh, Ray DeVito's show. And people Thank were like, uh, does she know David Stratman? Who's David Stratman? You, you oh. Know... oh, yes. Uh, he's another ventriloquist. And he's done a lot of shows outside the United States. And he's very popular in Australia. Um, he's... Excellent performer. And he's from Australia, I think. I, I saw well, his shows. Okay, well, he's yeah. well. One of his parents Sorry. is American, I think, but he's excellent. Um, as a matter of fact, um, him and Darren Carr is another one from Australia that I wrote a fan letter to when I was fifteen, and uh, years later, when I did a DVD called "Broken Semi Famous," Darren Carr downloaded it, and it was like, "Oh my God, I've arrived." <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Jake, are you there? Am I on the air by myself? <laughs> Jake? Hey, sorry about that. Are you okay? Sorry, my internet froze. I hate you know my what? internet. There's a gremlin but, in the internet. When I did Ray's show, the gremlin was was messing with my internet too. Yeah, but um, I want to I want to ask this: What do you think about like you know when the 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 big C word can't say it because they'll demonetize my channel, but see where that happened in 2020 did that affect your um or did that did, did that sorry hello well 
it made me a better ventriloquist, actually. I put my nose to the grindstone and I wrote my book, Don't Read My Lips, um, during that time. And the reason being yep. is that I was always uh, my my manager, Clinton Ford Billups Jr., wanted me to write this book. And I was too busy because yeah. I was traveling. I was in an off-Broadway show called um, called Murdered by the Mob. It was the longest off-Broadway dinner theater show in New York City. I was in grad school. I was writing yeah. a television pilot. I was touring. And so then the big C word happened. And, um, yep. you know, and the world froze. And so then I had time to write this book. And so that actually yeah. made me a better ventriloquist because... Um, yeah. It's one of these things where a lot of people chose to give up during that time. I chose to retool and become better. And so, folks, yeah. this is available on Amazon, and you can learn my tricks. Yeah. You know, one of the things I see people do, you know, um, have you met Tuki? Have you ever met Tuki? Yes. Uh, El Hurry Blaze. Yes, um, Tuki okay. and uh, Mae Wilson, who you will meet in a minute. Um, Tuki and May, uh, I think they might be having little furry babies. So you you know who you know who I'm talking about the uh, the 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 puppet that um sorry I don't like what do you call these uh, puppets uh, I don't like I don't people do get offended when you say puppets I've heard that people do get well, offended when you say puppets. Well, I don't get offended, but my kids get offended. You see, I call them puppets behind their back all the time. But, you know, but Tukey apparently is a big fan of mine. I like Tukey. Yeah. By the way, uh, I just also want to tell you that I got, I had to get rid of, my editor was a noxious John. I had to get rid of him this week because he was talking some, some stuff on Ray's show about Aerie. So... You know what? Let's not talk about but, any of that drama. I wasn't there for that. Let's just be let's positive. Not, this show. Let's not. You know, let's, let's not positive. talk about let's things that make us unhappy. Let's just talk about things that make yeah. us happy. But we got we got two. We got Mr. Blue Sky with a membership. Um, uh, uh, putting his miss. This is a great get, Jake. Hi, April. Hi, hi, Mr. Blue Sky. And because um, because. Said Jake actually, is making podcasting great again. Pod well, I have somebody who's going to make your show great. Okay, Jake, who's the first person you want to meet? Do you want to meet somebody that's in love with you or somebody that's going to make your show great again? Love. All right, because that's what we're uh, who you got? today. Because we, we've talked about some drama on the air, but you know what? We're not going to focus on the drama. We're going to focus on the love. Like, hello, yeah. Jay. Are you, are you as handsome <laughs> oh as my God. I think you are? May. Right, so I'll turn May, the camera on. Um, hello. So, so What's May, um, you met Tukey, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I met Tukey. And Tukey is handsome, but not as handsome as Jake. $2 super chat. Uh, you're the best, Jake. Thank you. Well, Jake, Sorry, these, the I have to answer these super chats. Yeah, uh, someone else wants to know if April. Uh, you want to read that? Am I a you cougar? Read that? You think I'm a cougar? April's not a cougar. When I can do things in the sack that can make you roar. <laughs> May, be nice. Be nice. This is a nice show. <laughs> this is actually good. This is someone's asking if this is a Hillary puppet. It, are, are you a, are you a Hillary a... puppet, May? No, I'm not a Hillary puppet. Rest assured, if Phil and I get together, I can show him what to do with a cigar. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is this is actually this is this is the first time I ever had a ventriloquist on my show. Well, this May, what do you time. think of that? Well, we're clocking your cherry. How does it feel to no longer be a ventriloquist virgin? Yeah, but hey, um, I also want to ask this question. Well, actually, April's talking dirty <laughs> to you. Oh, 
So don't interrupt the man. Let let the man ask the question. What what do you want to know, Jay? What 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 do you, what do you think about like you know the resurgence of ventriloquist ventriloquism in you know United States now? Because there's so many even new ventriloquists coming in. You know we have people like Darcy coming in. Darcy uh, Lynn, I don't sorry, don't hurt. I don't know if it Lynn's her last name or it's Darcy Darcy Lynn Farmer. But, um, I I think it's good, May. Uh, what do you think? Well, I think it's good. But Jeff Dunham's Walter still hasn't returned my phone calls. Oh, but weren't you dating Kermit the Frog? <laughs> yeah, but he only likes pigs. But what about Swarm the Insult Dog? Oh my God, I wasn't into his kink. What was his kink? He pooped on me. Okay. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, you're saying hold on, I have a picture of that. Oh, Sorry. oh, oh. That was the worst date of my life. Okay, Sorry. Man, you didn't have to do that. All right. I'm Sorry. I'm about this being only love, I'm Sorry. all right. Uh, but May, you, this right. is what happens when you date outside your species. Tell me about it. I'm not into whiskey anymore. <laughs> Hey, I heard that you and Toki might be getting together. I heard yes. you and Toki might be getting together. Uh... Well, here's the thing. Toki told me that he could advance my career. Yeah, and what else did Toki tell you? He told me that he was rich. So, if he can advance my career and he's rich, I'm going to have his little blue babies. Whoa, did you hear that, Jay? This broke on your show. Oh. Wilson and Toki. Sitting under the tree, K I S S I N G. Uh oh, wait a minute. Du -du -du. You are magnificent, Sorry. April. You are a pure delight. Thank you, Ari. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, by the way, we got to read those donations when they come in, May, because they, they, they're, they're funding the channel. They're keeping the show yeah, going. Yeah, they're, they're funding the channel. And I'm all for that because there's no romance without finance. Can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. All right. But I want to ask this question. What do you think about like what what do you guys think? What do you think about like um I know you live in Las Vegas. I know you guys live in Las Vegas, but you just said what do you think about uh, the show uh, Rick Harrison in the world famous Girl in Silver Pawn Shop? What do you it's think, May? If you know what I'm... Well, I'm all for Pawn Stars because if Abel trades me in, I'll be worth a million dollars. And Rick Harrison, <laughs> you're older, you're wealthy, you're just my type. I'm coming to rock your antique. Ah. May, this um, is a nice show. If you talk like this, he's not going to get donations. Well, okay. girl, I'm all about the Benjamins. Benjamins, money can't buy you love. Dollar like bills. A house, a car, and diamonds. But, May, a house, a car, and diamonds are things. Yay, girl, well, love fades. And a house, a car, and a diamonds is there long after the divorce is final. Duh. Can I get an amen from the chat? Yeah, you should donate for that alone. <laughs> yeah. Also, also the rings are worth a little bit of money if they spend a lot of money on, on the engagement ring and wedding rings. The same. Yeah, May, how many wedding how many wedding rings do you have? Oh my gosh, I have a lot of engagement rings. You see, weddings are really permanent. Engagements, at least when it's over, I can trade it in and get the money. You are really shallow. Nelly girl, you have your hand up my ass. You know that I'm deep. <laughs> oh, this is what I live uh, with. This is what I live with. Yeah. You know. Uh, by the way, I got. I got to talk about. What do you think about Miss Piggy, Bay? L M G. I dated Kermit the Frog. He's only into pigs. Ugh, don't even get me started on her. Okay, he wouldn't leave. And I can say one thing, uh, Miss Piggy. If we ever meet, it's bacon. Did you just say bacon? Yeah, that's what I did. Cause she is such a ham. Did you just dismiss Piggy? Yes, I did. Oh, oh, May, you can't dismiss Piggy because Kermit blew you off. What can I say, April? <laughs> Me and him had a rainbow connection and she came and ruined it. 
by the way, by the way, my 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 uh, person who does my clips, the, the, the clips from the source for my channels here, Stormy's going to put some, uh, my friend, um, and I didn't mean to click that, but if you knew who, I don't know if you want to answer this, April. Do we know Cool Cat May? No, we don't know Cool Cat, but Cool Cat, hello, if you're watching, we know you now. <laughs> um, I also want to ask this, is, what do you guys think about Dr. Phil? What do you think about Dr. Phil May? OMG, Dr. Phil. He's old, he's rich, and I want to be his May. May, this is a nice show. It's a nice <laughs> show. Well, you know, I'd make a good guest on his show. Why do, you think he, why do you think he'd make a good guest? Well, we can talk about how Pinocchio hurt me and how did Pinocchio hurt you. Well, April, every time he lied, his nose grew and his dick shrank. But you were with him for two years. What can I say? I sold myself for health insurance. Oh, you were with him for two years, May. Yeah, because every time he lied, I just sat on his face. Okay, what really happened? You were engaged, like I said. Do you want to know the truth? I think we all want to know the truth. That dirty donkey gave me splinters. Ah! I think she'd make a great guest uh, on Dr. Phil, don't you, Jake? I, I I I think it's, she's better than the Catch Me Outside girl. She's better than the Catch Me Outside girl. Yeah, that's Sorry. what I say. Yeah. So so May, what would you say to Doctor Phil? I would say, you know how you're no longer a licensed therapist. Can you write me a prescription for the really good stuff, May? <laughs> Doctor May, I have I have DEA agents watching this. Show. Winners and losers. Winners do the things that losers don't want to do. Yes. Like every day I go to the Caution nursing home. I sit next to the, the 97-year-old dying man with billions of dollars. And I say, I'm going to show you rose bushes. Oh, no. <clears throat> you know, that's literally Anna Nicole Smith's act. Exactly. And then when he dies and leaves me all those billions... I'm going to post your playboy and get my own reality show. Hey, Ryan Seacrest can get you that. Yeah, Ryan Seacrest can get you Seacrest. that. Yeah, that's right. He's hosting Leo of Fortune now. He's kind of getting old. I think that he has a toupee. Ooh. Uh, By the way, you also, you know, uh, by the way, uh, I, th I thought you said Milikunas. Sorry, I thought you said he's dating Mila Kunis, but Will of Fortune. Well, Sorry. he may he may be so, but May, what do you think of Vienna White? Vienna White? I have more human skin than she does. Did you Ooh. hear that, Jake? She's fighting with Vienna White now. I got one question. What do you think? Uh, I got a question for you, May. Go on. <laughs> I hate to have this. I just, this show's been cra getting crazier, getting crazy. But um, what do you think about the Kardashians, May? What do I think about the Kardashians? Well, once again, I have more human skin than they do. Oh! Oh, shit! And I think that, like, tits might be more real than Kim's, too. But I will say this. They're famous for doing absolutely nothing, and I love it, and I want to aspire to that level. So, Kim, mwah, you are my goddess. This is and actually why, good. Uh, why else do you admire Kim? Well, another thing on my bucket list, I want to date Pete Davidson. You want to date Pete Davidson? Oh. Yeah, that's like a requirement to be a oh, star. Lord. You have to date Pete Davidson. So, Pete... I don't know what you're packing in those pants, but I'm ready for you. Yeah. Um. Also, what do you? What do you? Sorry, I'm burping right now. What do you okay. think about Stutter and Melendez? What do you think? Stuttering Stutter and John Melendez. Melendez. Stutter you know and John. John. Unless he, unless he's super rich and he's sending me diamonds, I don't think anything of him. Oh. All right. All right, well, I've uh, never met the guy. Uh, May, I'm sure he's very uh, nice. <laughs> all right. I, 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 April, you got a new book out? You got a book yes, out? Yes, I do. 
Um, May, would you like to show them my book? I'm on the front cover, so you should buy it. It's available on Amazon. In April, tell them what's going on on your Insta and your Twitter. Guys, I have five autographed copies of this available. So hit us up on Insta and on Twitter. And if you hit us up and say that you saw this on Jake's show, you want an autographed copy. Uh, 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 it's... Well, if you hit us up and uh, you say that you saw us on Jake's show, I'll sign the book too. All right. All right. Just hit the. Uh, by the way, your Twitter is in the title of this. Your Twitter is at April uh, B R U C K E R. Yes, that would be me. And Jake, because you spent my because you spelled my ventriloquist name correctly, I gotta give you something. Mwah. May just gave you a kiss, Jake. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh oh. But I'm glad you gave him the kiss. Well, hey. me, May. I don't know where your mouth has been. Online life has been in a lot of places and a lot of people very happy. Oh. So, May, what are you going to do? I got to go meet my sugar daddy. But, Jake, I just want to say that I love you. And I'll be back. And I'll see you again. Oh my gosh, May, why did you have to do that? So yeah, Jake, that show's been pretty wild. The show's been pretty wild so far, hasn't it? <laughs> you okay? You all right, Jake? You okay? Jake, are you all right? <laughs> Did May scare you away? Guys, there's no host on here. Sorry, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Sorry. It's okay, Jake. You take your time, folks. You stay right there. I'm just going to go get a drink of water. <sighs> Ventriloquism does the body good, okay? Always hydrate. And I can't tell you who this is because I don't know what the licensing stuff is, but... Give me a minute. Sorry, give me a minute. Are you okay? Just take your time, Jake. Folks, it's been a great show so far. I got another puppet coming up. Stay tuned. Um, but anyway, I'm having a really great time, a really great day. And I'm glad to be here with all of you. And it's just been an honor and a privilege to meet all of Jake's fans. Um, just uh, Jake is doing what he needs to do for himself. And if you can't take care of yourself in this world, who can you take care of? Um, just keep giving him that money, funding the channel. He's doing a really great job here. I'm proud of him. Sorry. Jake, are you back? Sorry yet, about that. Sorry, I'm you back. Good? What's up? Yeah, sorry. I, I, had, to go, to I had to go do money, something. Jake. I was just telling them to give you money. All right. Yeah, you're doing yeah, a great uh, job, hey, buddy. You should be really proud of yourself. Sorry. Yeah, um, you know, I've sorry, I um you know the reason I started podcasting, and I'll tell you this, the reason I started podcasting my dad died in 2020 because of the not because of the big C, because of liver failure and kidney failure because of alcohol. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Sorry. Um, but I'm glad you're podcasting, I just also, and I'm glad you channeled your grief yeah. into something positive. 
you know, and the thing is, it's like so many people are asking, you know, my dad was, my dad was 73 when he died. And I didn't get to, I didn't get to see him. I didn't get to see him when he died before he died because he was in a hospital. He was in a hospital. I live in a small town. And so, uh-huh. sorry, I'm, I'm out of breath because I had to run to do something. Um, I just want to say it, you know, when I asked you to be on the show, I, I thought I was going to get a no, or I usually get like, because I know that, I know that you're, I know you've done Ray's show, Ray DeVito. I love that guy, Ray, but you also did a little mirror show and I did a little mirror show. I was the first one on a little mirror show, but he's got some, has some good people on there. Like Andy Dick. Uh-huh. Yeah. By the way, I have friends in Vegas. I have friends in Henderson. I have friends a lot of places. Well, that's good. And here's the thing. Of course I would do your show. Why wouldn't I do your show? Okay? You got to think a little more of yourself, man. You're doing a really good job. All right? Thank you. And, and But I'm, I'm not a celebrity. I don't have like the, I don't have like the, I am, I'm, you know, I'm not a comedian. Everyone says I am. But the thing is, it's like what people, here's the thing. I just tell my life story. My life story, I've been dealing with disability for 27 years and going through obstacles and all that. Sorry, out of breath. Well, maybe this is your outlet. You know, this is your you know, comedian. This is your outlet. Um. I want to ask this question. Have you ever, you know, I know you've done, I know that a lot, I remember watching uh, Terry Faylor on CMT when he did, wait, was Vicky, was May's, May's character May, let me rephrase this, was, was, was Vicky the puppet a, uh, an inspiration for you to make May? No, um, May Wilson um, was not inspired by Vicky. Um, Vicky was Vicky, and May um, is based off of two people. Uh, I got picked on a lot in school. Shocker, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, one is a girl that was mean to me, and the other was a friend of mine that was a cheerleader. Actually, they were the drove red convertible. Her name was Erin, and she would go go era era era, and everybody was her friend. Like. This girl was one of those people where everybody was her friend and she wanted to marry a wealthy doctor. So that's who Mae Wilson is based off of. Hey, have have you seen, by the way, I want to give to my, my art guy, Citizen M for making this, for making the thumbnail. Well, Citizen M, you knocked it out of the park. Yeah, I didn't know that. I was like, because I didn't know he knew who you was. I gave him your Twitter, and he made that. And Aww. I, Thank I, you. I also I love what you did, Citizen M. I look great. Yeah, and and also I don't know why I have that. <laughs> why do you have that? <laughs> you know who that is. Yes, that's George Lopez. <laughs> Hi, George you Lopez. You, you made like a random. <laughs> you know, maybe. You can say you had George Lopez on your show now. See, uh, hey, you're I running would love with to the have him people, on. man. You're running with the, you're yeah, running with the stars. <laughs> you know, I, I I had Casey, I had Casey Armstrong from Howard Stern on. By the way, Stutter and John was on the was on was a legend on the Howard Stern show. Well, um, Casey Armstrong and 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 um, Stutter and John, uh, I met. You don't them know both. who they are. They seemed like very nice guys. Yeah. You know, and, and I also want to bring bring this up that, you know, you know, I when I when I contacted you, I didn't know you had a book out. I didn't, and I saw your article you did with about you tra- you your fiance said it was. By the way, I've heard some of the jokes May did. I saw some of the joke about Pinocchio. Listen, she never gets it never gets old for her talking about. Pinocchio, but here's the thing. 
Are you in the mood to meet more stars? You have a star yes. show so far. All right, come on. Let's meet a star. Um, this guy is live from Las Vegas. Well, hello, Ooh. hello, hello. Jake, I just want to say that I've been watching this show the entire time. And you got what it takes, kid. Uh, uh, this is... Who, I'm sorry, I don't want to be rude, but who is this? Yeah, you look like somebody famous, but you're not. Well, uh, Mr. Las Vegas is my second cousin twice removed. Wait a minute, but, explain Newton. Wait, you're Mr. Las Vegas? No, little lady, I'm Dwayne Newton. Mr. Ongos Las Vegas. Ongos <laughs> Las Vegas, thank, thank you very much. By the way, so, um... Hey. So he's second cousin twice removed. Yes, I've been removed once got casino security, and once got a Clark County Department of Health. Like I said, I'm Mr. Ongos Las Vegas. By the way, to the people, peop, that, sorry, to the people that don't understand this, Clark County is Clark County, Nevada, is the is the is where Las Vegas is. And I thought you said you got. I thought you were gonna make a joke about the sheriff's department. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. So, uh, have you ever met your famous cousin? Yes, as a matter of fact, he gave me his autograph once. Autograph? That's great. It was big and gold at the bottom of the restraining order. Ooh, oh, that's that. Hey, by the way, that's what I was trying to. I, I knew that a restraining order had to be involved. So, but what do people say when you tell them about your famous cousin? They say that's great. I didn't know that he was still alive. And have uh, you ever done anything hey. with your famous cousin? Why, well, yes, I have. How did it go? It was loud. Loud? Yes, so. Uh, Sorry, brother. What? I had to put that up. Does April I'd... have any hangers? Because I can't see Low, her low hangers mean, um, means the, I know um, what low hangers means, young man. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so, Dwayne, you have a song about that? Yes. Does April have any low hangers? Cause that man can't see her cleavage. April, you should have worn a low hanger on the show. Does April it, have any low hangers? Cause these guys can't see her cleavage. That's why I, I, they're tuning in. I, you know. Hey, um, you know, one of the, you know, by the way, Viva Las Vegas. Yes, I do. Viva, Viva Las, Vegas. Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Actually, April have you seen the movie? Little hanger. This is your cleavage. It's going to set the world on fire. Have you guys? Are, hey, I've actually am. I am. I'm related. My mom actually told me this. I'm related to Elvis Presley, and that was it. That wasn't Wayne Newton. That uh, Viva Las Vegas is 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 uh, Elvis, Elvis and not Wayne Newton. Yes, but um, but what do you think of that, Dwayne? Well, uh, I'm related to Elvis too. You're related to Elvis. I was tenth cousin, ten times removed. Ten times removed. Oh, God. Yes, uh, as a matter of fact, they told me to call. They told me to stop calling Grace Lynn ten times before they finally removed me. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, Dwayne, where can people see you perform in Las Vegas? Well, uh, you can see me at the Kroger Supermarket Slot Parlor. But I got hopes and I got dreams. And someday when they get a gang license, I hope to appear at Whole Foods. Oh. Um, I want to also bring up that um actually the one thing, you know, I have I have so many fans that want me to go to Vegas. People want me to go to the West Coast, East Coast. Because I've never I've never left Mississippi. I'm from Mississippi, by the way. Um, that, wow, you should come to Vegas. Uh, Dwayne, you want to sing a song about it? Yes, I do. Here goes. Jake needs to come to Las Vegas and needs to set the place on fire. Not really on fire, but, you know, on fire. Jake yeah. needs to come to Las Vegas and needs to win yeah. some money and get high I, I, because Jake needs to come to Las Vegas. Viva! I, I, Jake needs to come to Las Vegas because he's related to Elvis. Jake needs to come to Las Vegas! Las Vegas. Yeah, actually, hey, um, I also want to bring up, like, you know, as, you know. By the way, I also want to say that we, this is the, this is, I. By the way, are we going to get copyright claims for doing Viva Las Vegas? 
Are we going to get copyright claimed? You know, I don't know because it's a cover. And, it's a and party, also, so I because think can... uh, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm like so scared because I've lost one channel. I lost my I um lost my first channel, the one I built seven years for, because some um, Jake, use your words wisely. I, I know, I know person. what you're saying. I think you'll be fine. Just yeah. take a deep breath, Jake. You're doing a yeah, great I, job. Thank you very much. And you know what? There's so many times that I'm I basically I am I was fixing to do a character. I have a character you have to like this is so I don't do patriarchalism, but that's a little thing that I do a lot of times. I have a character of my own. I named him Jared. You know, it's probably gone. Sorry. But every time I do that, it makes my mouth water because of the spit. Well, um, Dwayne, do you want to sing an original song encouraging Jake? Yes, I do. Here goes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Jake Her. is doing a great job on his channel. Jake is doing a great job on his channel. Jake is doing a great job, so you need to keep sending him money for his channel. Jake is doing a great job. Round of applause for Jake, 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 Jake. Yeah, thank have you, you performed that um, song before? Actually, yes, I have. So, uh, do you want me to do another original song for you, Jake? Uh, oh, uh, if you... Do we have time to get all, all your characters on here, April? Because uh, we... you wouldn't. You need a few hours to get all my characters. But all right. do, you want to, do you want to sign off, Dwayne? Yes, I need to get back to the Kroger Supermarket slot parlor. But Jake, you're doing a great job, buddy. And Thank I you. will. Dwayne Newton. Now. Thank you. Thank you. That was Dwayne. 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 Sorry, I had to say that, but. Uh, before we bring, what is this? Uh, Charlie, Mc, the uh, the poster you have behind you, the Charlie. Oh, Charlie you have a, you have a poster right behind um, you. It was um a movie that Edgar Bergen, um Charlie McCarthy and Mortimer Schnurr did called um Detective, and it's a it's a detective mystery, and it's a really yeah. great old film. I love old films. Ma'am. Hold on, I'll show. Give me, give me a minute. Give me a minute. What's so going here, on? I'll, I'll show you. I put it. Folks, it has been an interesting show. This is Sorry. I got people okay. going in and out of the house. Where are you? you? Ready? I'm right here. I'm right here. Sorry. Right here. Are you at home? Are you at work? Are you on the uh, I'm, 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 at, I'm at home. I'm at my house. Who's coming in my house? Your house, man. Don't they know your house? My, my, my roommate. And, you know, but now, can we meet Joe Biden? Okay. Um, I gotta go get them, but can you do the presidential music while I go get them? Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the United States. Joseph Biden. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Joe Biden time. How you doing, Mr. Biden? Welcome, welcome to the I show. Now that I'm here, uh, Joe Biden, I'm in your service. Uh, so, uh, it's been quite a show. Uh, ew! Sorry, uh, my eyesight's not so great. It works for my dog. So, um, yeah. President Biden time, if you're elected president, you'll be the oldest person ever to be president. Knock on wood, I'm as quick as a whip. Knock on wood, I'm as strong as an ox. Knock on wood, uh, who are you again? I'm April. 
Oh, April, yes. Uh, and who's this young man? Uh, Jake Hudson. <laughs> Jake. Uh, so, Jake, do you have any questions for me? What? Uh, by the way, what do you think about Donald Trump? When I was a boy in Scranton, my father said, Jilly, you always have to have your Trump card. No, Donald Trump. Oh, <laughs> Donald Trump. Here's the deal. Number one, he's a crook. Number two, he's going to prison. Number four, number four, Mr. President? Yes, number four. Who are we talking about again? Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. Oh, Donald Trump. Yes, Donald Trump. So uh, what, what other questions do you have for the president? Oh, what, oh, I got a question. How was it working with Obama during his administration? The Since fact he was of the matter his is, Barack is my homeboy. I even <laughs> wrote a rap. No, no. Folks, it's me, I'm called Joey B. When I was a little boy in Scranton C, I stuttered. Now I'm restoring America most definitely. The fact of the matter is, I wear these shades. Here's the deal, I'm full cat. And if you don't vote for me, well, you ain't black. Ew! Or do your mom. See, they told you no hair sniffing. So, <laughs> kind of hard for me to see, yeah. So... So, but, but why did you rap? Well, uh, my vice president, Calamari Harris, told me not to rap. Calamari Harris? Yeah, she's the most Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris. It's Kamala. Oh, you mean Calamari, yes. Kamala, uh, uh, Calamari. Kamala, by the way, do you, Calamari. Hey, by the way, if you guys, there's a little trivia. Uh, Kamala the Giant's real name was James Harris, and Kamala the, the Ugandan Giant from WWE and WWF in wrestling, his real name was James Harris, and people got confused when Kam when Kamala when J when he died, they got they thought that Kamala Harris died. Well, uh, that would explain why you haven't seen her around. Oh. <laughs> Wow. That that's really bad, President Biden time. Well, uh, she did get the job by putting me in a chokehold. Oh. <laughs> Great. I thought she had some professional wrestling experience under her belt. Okay. Be nice. Mm. This is a this is a nice show. But what do you think of student loan forgiveness? I say forgive the student loans mm. and the students all good. Okay. By the way, um, I also want to say that um, that this show's actually been it's been funny. This is this show's been good. You made made me laugh a few times. This is like every I can't even walk. Uh, I sometimes when I watch like Jeff Donald or all that ventriloquist, I started laughing my ass off. But well, see, um, laughing. When I was a boy in Scranton, my father said, "Joey, if you can't laugh, what can you do?" Who's this guy again, Jake? Oh, Jake. Jake. So what do you think of what's going on with uh, Kevin McCarthy? The fact of the matter is, I like ventriloquism, and I've always been a fan of Charlie McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy. Sure. Well, where's Edgar Bergen when you need him? Kevin McCarthy. Well, uh, Charlie McCarthy hasn't done a show in years. I was wondering why he was Speaker of the House. Kevin oh. McCarthy. Biden. Kevin, Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Oh, is that Charlie McCarthy's son? No. Kevin McCarthy. You know, Senator from California. The one that, uh, the one Charlie that they, McCarthy, by... uh, since he's retired from being a ventriloquist, don't we? This wasn't a good career move for him. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> hey. I now I now get why a lot of people I now get why a lot of people uh sometimes the real Joe Biden this is like having the real Joe Biden on the show but thank you yeah <laughs> are you the real Joe Biden yes yeah, so I'm Joe Biden time and uh, I just want to say that uh, the Speaker of the House everything's gonna be fine my loudspeakers work just fine wait wait what is this after dark thing that I see on the on the bat on the thing April. Oh, um, I worked with Bob Saget before he passed away. Oh, um, you were friends. Of, you were working with Bob. Um, yes, if you guys it was on a the... show on ABC called Videos After Dark. It was like an America's Funniest Home Videos, but more adult. And um, I juggled a towel, 
And here's the deal. April did not drop the towel because April cares about America. Thank you for yeah. saying that, Mr. President. Dude, yeah, I, with the hair stripping. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, um, April, I just also want to tell you that I was actually a big fan of Bob. And, you know, Bob, you know, and also he passed before uh, after Gilbert Goff. I think we lost Gilbert, too. We lost Gilbert Goff. Yes, we lost Gilbert. What did you think of Gilbert, yeah. Mr. Biden time? The fact of the matter is, he was a problem child. A problem child. Yes, it was a movie made oh. before either one of you were born. Um, I, I was born when Problem Child was made. Oh, oh, oh. I, uh, I don't know what movie he's talking ew, about. Ew, he's snipping my hair. Well, I keep losing my sight. I gotta use my nose like my hey. dog. Hey. I saw, uh, by the way, someone, someone's asking, uh, he's the person saw, uh, David Stratman and he's his favorite. Yes, he's, yes, I think David Strassman is very underrated. He's one of my favorites yeah. too. Yeah. Um, I also want to bring up a, I just also want to say we got a, hold on, it's telling me we got a fan, we got a couple, um, I just also want to say thank you very much. This has been, this is, this show has been like, you know, this is the reason I wanted to do to do these podcasts is, is to get people. And, you know, I watched, I I love America's Home Videos when Bob was on it. Bob, Bob, uh, I don't want to say, his, don't want to say the name because it might be, people will confuse me and say, you know, the, the homophobic F word. I, I know who you're talking about. He was, and the world is a lesser place without him. Bob Saget, Bob's that uh, he's he's, you know he you know that show you know now everybody's gone to uh, you know the Olsen twins are not in in Hollywood anymore, they moved on. And oh, you always I it, Scranton, our lunch of the dance with the Olsen twins, Mary Kate and Melody. Ashley. No, 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 the, Ashley. Okay, no, no, no. Those are the wrong Olsen twins. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Well, uh, what can I say? Oh, my gosh, he's falling asleep. <laughs> Sleepy Joe's at it again. Sleepy Joe, should, should I try to wake him up? Hold on. I, I, I might have a sound bit we could play. I might have some sounds. Because I didn't think there was a home. Should I wake him up or should I bring on the other guy that might be running for president? Go ahead. Go All ahead. Right. You fucking I think it's his bedtime anyway. Hey. Sorry, I'm playing these uh, sound bits. All right. Oh, God. Don't tell me you got a DeSantis in there. No, it's the other guy. Trump? You'll find out. Hi. Hi. Hello, it's Donald J. Trump. Uh, so we just had Sleepy Joe on. What do you think of that? Well, my hands are huge. That's what I think. So, uh, Mr. Cram, why should people vote for you for president in 2024? Well, April. I'm going to screw up everything. I have billions and billions of dollars. I'm hosting my own successful reality show. And the Better Business Bureau gave me a triple A rating. Wait, the Better Business Bureau gave you a triple A rating? Wrong! A triple K rating. K, K, K! Uh, oh, we got, a, we got 50 knocks. Uh, we got some Norwegian money here. Love you, too. Two or three, you have great chemistry. I can tell you're having fun, Jake. Thank you. Actually, you're you're uh, you're uh, because uh, I actually have and I have heard from Mark Cuban that you're only worth a half a billion. Fake news. Mark Cuban. Never trust the guy that's named after a cigar. Oh. <laughs> and also, your show got canceled. Your show got canceled. So. Fake news. They're fired. Sorry. Mr. Tramp, do you consider yourself uh, a racist? More hate news. I hate to run. Well, but are you going to run in 2024? 
yes, and I'm going to win like I did in 2020, and it's going to be huge, just like my hands. What do you think of the Speaker of the House drama? There's no Speaker of the House drama here. Alexa, play me some music. No. No. Uh, sorry, can't do that. We. You're gonna get me copyright claimed on this. I hope we. Uh, sorry. Okay, Mr. Tramp. Uh, sorry, I, I'm, I was worried. Sorry. We can't do it because of copyright claim, copyright problems in YouTube. I wish we, I wish we can't play music. He's at, he said, Alexa, play music. No, no, no. He Nobody's the, playing any music. Nobody's playing any music. All right. Uh, uh, do you have Alexa? Do you have an Alexa machine? Because I don't have one. Do you have an Alexa machine? No. But I have a Stormy. A Stormy. Yes. <laughs> That's why I like girls being a girl, because I'm in the stormy weather. I, I actually have a I have a friend named uh, my uh, my sister's name is Stormy my internet sister I like to call her Stormy who does all of my clips and all that is been yes. is in here yeah so but but um what else do you want to know from Mr Tramp are you friends with Vincent K McMahon Vincent Kennedy McMahon and was yes, you involved I am friends with Vincent McMahon. He gets me like bodyguards. <laughs> it was you, was you helping him when the stuff happened? When the stuff happened, where in a, where uh they they were doing their shows in Saudi Arabia. Fake news. I know nothing about that, but I can tell you this: <laughs> that I love Saudi Arabia. I love the people. Who else do you think lives in Trump Tower? Is dumb. Okay. <laughs> Also, uh, also, uh, did you hire? So that's the reason why you hired uh, uh, Linda McMahon as your small business uh, manager. Yes, I did. And Linda McMahon, when I'm reelected president, is going to be the Secretary of Treasury. What? Yes. <laughs> Whoa! What better person to run the Treasury Department than Linda McMahon? She's a woman, and she has a chokehold. Oh. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is what I this, live with all the time. Yeah, I, I get it now. You got Sleepy Joe. You got Sleepy Joe uh, sleeping, and then Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump, sorry. But um, I also want to ask this. What do you think about Drew Carey? And we all, Drew you know, Carey, we, Drew Carey, uh, wasn't he on a show that was canceled in the nineties? Okay. Moving along. Uh, hey, uh, did you hear that Bob Barker died? Bob Barker? Darn. Bob Barker died. He would run against me for president. After all, he's more lively than Sleepy Joe and he's got better ratings. <sighs> <sighs> I don't know how you do this, April. I don't, I don't know how I do it either. They're all insane. And oh my gosh! Oh god, get off of me! Oh no! I, I want to grab you guys. Stop it! Oh my god! Oh my god, Jake! Help me! Help me! Help me! I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I, 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 sorry about that. I'm sorry. So it's okay, I, I Jay. It. I wanted to grab I cut the feet. Good, goodbye. You you you, assault, <laughs> you you assaulted me. I love my prizeless salt and pepper. Oh, get off of me, Mr. Tramp. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, folks. It has been um it's been quite a show, hasn't it? Yeah. We had Sleepy Joe, uh we also had Dwayne Newton, May, and then you had the two presidents. This, yes. has been, this is this has been a good show, and also, uh, uh, uh your book is actually an amazing book. I did not read it yet, Thank but you. I saw you. You know, I also want to say that this has been a um a great show. You ex, this is the funnest show. Sorry that you had that. Uh, what's that? Your new book? 
Uh, my new book is um, Don't Read My Lips. And folks, if you order an autographed copy, DM me online for an autographed copy. You can also get it on Amazon. But if you want an autographed copy, say you saw this on Jake's show and me and all my puppets will sign it. And yeah, bonus, um, it's money dose of April every day in 2024. April on vacation calendar. And check me out on Playboy. Yeah. Uh, also, you know, I wanted to talk about this before we get out of here. What do you think about, um, you know, you, we talk about like, you know, that this has been a good interview. Do you have any more interviews set up this week or, or I'm, might be the only one this week? Because I don't know if you. You're my, if only, you, one, uh, you're, you're my only one this week, sweetie. You are my sole interview. Yeah, thank you. You know, because I, I know that I know that Ray's had you on. I know Little Mears had you on. I know a lot of these guys had you on. But you know, we 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 do these shows. I'm I'm a big fan of like Howard and all that. I was not I was not a fan. I was not listening to Opie and Anthony. I was not listening to any of that. I was watching a lot of how I, I love Howard and how he was doing stuff. Also a big fan of John Boy and Billy in the Morning in North Carolina to Rick and Bubba in Alabama. And also, I just want to say this show has been very awesome. Thank you know, you. And, and I also want to say this is actually going to be my favorite interview unless you count the interview that I did with uh, Marty the Moth Martinez from Lucha Underground. I've had so many people who've done, done my show and this is the first time that I've had a ventriloquist on the show. We had we had stunt we had uh we had Dwayne Newton, Sleepy Joe, and Donald Trump on the show. So great. I think we're gonna don't end forget it. about May Wilson. <laughs> May Wilson, yeah. All right, I think we're gonna end. Thank you guys for watching us. Uh, you stay in the background so we can talk backstage, but until then, keep the grease side to the pay. Until next time, keep the grease side to the payment and drive safe. And I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Bye for now. All right.